Hi, I'm um, finishing up a flat twist out and I thought I would share with you what I was doing as well as some big, big news. I am just a touch, touch excited about having this opportunity to be a host for the um, International Hair Meet up here in my city. Um, I am so so excited, and at the meetup, I plan on having um, naturals from around our surrounding area that will come out, they will get education, there will be vendors, there will be um stylists on hand doing different uh, demonstrations um, whether it's a Bantu night out uh, our special guest says she is going to do a color demonstration because some naturals don't know that you can get your hair colored um, it's going to be a very very fun event um, I'm just super excited to have this opportunity to participate. I've always wanted to go to the ones that were like in Dallas and Georgia, which has always been counted at a time when it was too far away. So I'm just excited that we're going to have it in Little Rock. Did you hear me? It's going to be a natural hair meet up in Little Rock and I will have the opportunity to be there as well as host the event. I have partnered with the um, International Hair Meetup Headquarters um, with Adil Rogers, better known as the Trendy Socialite. Um, this is such a great, great opportunity and I'm so excited to be able to um, participate and partner with this great young lady. I find it a great, great, great pleasure. And so if you are in the greater Little Rock area and you want to um, come out and network and um, get be a part of this great event, then this is the time to come together and support each other um, to come out and uh, find out more about the um different businesses in Little Rock that um, are going to um, be providing your products that you need as well as your services. Um, we're looking forward to a great, great uh, turnout. We have gotten positive responses already. And we're just super, 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 super excited about this opportunity. So, um, I hope that you will come out and support the great event. And, um, if you're unsure or have some questions that you would like, um, answered, um, then this is the time to do that. To come out. Or either you can submit your questions early if you want to know about moisturizing your hair. Um, should I transition my hair? Should I big chop my hair? You know, just whatever you may want to know. This is going to be the ideal time that you can come out to find out. And I am not the one who's going to be providing the information. I... I'm bringing everyone together who can help you get the information that you need to have a positive, positive journey. Because the more you know, the better off you'll be. As well as just simply knowing who the resources are in the community. Um, when I started off being natural or transitioning natural, I did not know anything YouTube has been my best, best friend as far as learning about what I need to do to take care of my hair. And um, 
it's kind of good to have some good support systems because you will oftentimes get frustrated and you'll be like, why did I do this? Why did I do that? Why, why, why? But, um, maybe I should cut my hair off. Just cut it off. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That is why we want us to come together so we can get some resources and have healthy, 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 strong hair. That's what we want to do. We want to have healthy, strong hair. Um, so what you need to do is go out, go out, go out, get your tickets, tell your friends, tell your sister, bring your mother, go and get your cousin. Tell them that the meetup is going to be in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we're going to be, we're going to be ha having this event at, um, Philander Smith College. And I thought that would be a perfect place to have it by being a historically black college because um, it just seemed so fitting. I thought of a number of places, the hotels, I thought of the community center, and I said, why not have it at the college? That would be an awesome, awesome place to have it at the college. And... That was why I picked the college, because I just thought it was perfect. It may not have been the best decision that I made, but it may not be the worst decision that I made. I think it was a good decision. So, I hope that you all will come out and support. And if you have any questions or concerns about this hairstyle that I'm doing, um, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be back. And checking to see if there are any comments on this video, on this um, hairstyle. Um, this is an uncut, unedited video. It's going to go out raw. When I'm finished, I'm just going to upload it. Yep. Nothing fancy smancy about it. Um, mm, I just wanted, I just had to wash and decondition my hair. Because it had been a whole week and it had gotten dry, like very, very dry, and lost all this luster. Did you know that water was the best moisturizer? Do not be afraid of water in your hair. And you may be wondering, why does her eye look black? My eye looks like that because my daughter was practicing with the... Um, makeup she was practicing with the makeup and i was her model and she's going to be starting a youtube channel as well and so she wanted to get her practice in and um what better way to get her practice in than on her mother her mother and that's what she was doing these are called flat twists see that you just part 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 and then I did something a little bit different. I put a little mousse on my hair tonight. And that's because for some reason, I'm not getting enough hold. And if there's not enough hold, my hair being that it's 4C tends to draw up. It draws up on my head. And that's not good. So we'll see how it turns out with the... Um, how it turns out with the mousse this time. And um, I think these flat twists are gonna be, gonna be good. And I need this to look cute for tomorrow since I gotta do my scope for the International Hair Meetup. And, um, and I don't wanna be looking crazy in all these other cities. Oh, did I tell you that the um, Hair Meetup is not just gonna be in Little Rock. It's gonna be in about 43 other cities, both national and international. Uh, I do not have the list, but I know that it's it's hidden a city near you. So, you might think about checking to see 
if it's in the city near you because it's happening May the 21st, 2016 in a city near you. And um, you don't want to miss out. If you're a natural and you're having some type of concern or some questions, the International Hair Meetup is the place you want to be. You want to be there. You want to get there. You need to make sure that you get there. Okay? And um, thank you for stopping by my channel. I will do another video to let you see how this turned out. Well, actually, if you turn tune into my scope on tomorrow, you will get a chance to see how this turns out. I hope I don't have to pin it up. But, but anyway, be prepared to... Tune in tomorrow. It's going to be airing at 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. So, make sure you tune in to... You can find me on Periscope at Naturally Nora 40 That's where I will be going live at 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. I happen to be the last one on the lineup for tomorrow. So, that means I get to watch everybody else's scope to make sure that, um, that I'm on the scope and doing it just right. Once again, thank you for tuning into my channel. Toodles.